Have you ever felt like giving up, right? Whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you just feel like giving up. You've had enough and you're done and tired of trying. So I have a little, little tip for you today. So yesterday, I'm just going to share a little personal story where I have not felt like going to the gym for like the last month or just not even the gym per se, but even moving this body, like even going for a walk. Typically, I'll at least try and get, you know, a walk in and I have just not felt that way. Hi, my name's Arju. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, bud. And so... It just, I yesterday I was like, come on, Jira, you, you got to move this body. Like, just get some, you know, blood flowing, get that lymphatic system going, all that good stuff that is good for moving the body. So I went to the gym and I, you know, was like, okay, maybe being around some people will help motivate me. Um, that didn't help. I was like, okay, let me change up my playlist. That didn't help. So I was like, okay, let me, you know, I typically do specific exercises to help uh, my back and keeping my core strong. And so I was just like, uh, I just don't want to do this. <laughs> Have you ever felt like that? And whether it's like physically or not, just something that you're doing, you're like, oh, I just don't want to do this. And so, yeah, it's just, I really felt so many times like giving up. And so I was like, okay, let me change up some of my exercises. So I actually ended up doing cardio, which nowadays I typically do cardio through dance. I don't really do more than that, but I decided to do some rowing. And I have not done rowing in like three years. I just don't need a, that much endurance anymore, right? Like some cardio is good, right? It's good for the heart and so many other parts um, of your body. But I, do, I just don't need high intensity cardio anymore. And so as I was doing it, it was like 30 seconds into it. Because if you've ever done rowing, it's pretty tough. <laughs> um and so I just felt like giving up. And what I used to do as a competitor in tennis was actually go into my breath, especially when I felt physically and mentally just like done. I would go into my breath and focus just inhale, exhale, and get into a rhythm with that. And with rowing, it's very inflow and outflow, funny enough, right? Like you're going forward and then you're pulling back. So very much like our breath. And so I just, I went into rhythm of that and it just reminded me how so many times if we feel like giving up, whether it's physically, you're physically doing something, go into your breath. Mentally, you've just had enough and you're just agitated um you've just really tried maybe a specific situation over and over and you're like ah, go into your breath emotionally maybe you have just feel overwhelmed and tired of it all all right hold on and go into your breath, right? And, you know, even spiritually, maybe, you know, the spiritual journey has just taken a toll on you and it's just really, really been rough right now for you in mind, body, spirit. Go into your breath. It's amazing. And so many yogi masters talk about this. And I just really, it was a great reminder, not only for myself, um, because so many people think that I am always like this strong willed person all the time. And I'm not, <laughs> I definitely have that. Um, uh, but I don't always feel that way. The difference is that I don't give up. And this is one of the reasons why I don't give up. And I, for those of you who saw me as a player or competed, knew um, that I was a very fierce competitor, that 
honestly, I went into so many three sets. I was like, in college, I was like the three set queen. I was always the last person playing and typically the first one to start. <laughs> and, but I actually knew if I took someone to a third set, they wouldn't be able to last and I knew I would. And a lot of that actually is because I would go into my breath and get into that flow state. It brought me into that flow state every single time. So it was just, it was a great reflection for myself because of how I was internally feeling. And it reminded me so many times when um, people are working out or we're just really having a mental block or emotionally not really um, feeling, uh, just not really feeling like we want to continue, right? Um, and spiritually, it's just like, oh, God, please, like, just give me a break. <laughs> and yeah. I can't, like, I, I know I'm saying the same thing now, but yeah, just going back into your breath, it was a great aha moment for me. And I hope, you know, it helps with one person out there. Yeah. And if, uh, oh, about the last thing I wanted to share with you is I do have a new blog uh, coming up. It's uh, if you've ever felt alone, lonely, disconnected, or you don't belong, this blog is to help you with that, identify what's happening um, in mind, body, and spirit. And I also give journal prompts. So if you are interested in that or know someone who is, um, you can go to my website at the bottom of it. You just scroll down and you can um, submit, submit your email. Um, or just send me your email, DM, DM me your email. All right, guys, I hope you have an abundant full week and much love. Let me know if this um, video helps helped you today or, you know, another day. All right, much love.